All right, guys, coming at you again with, uh, I think this is part 10. I could be wrong, but I'm, I'm going to go with, I think this is part 10 in the series. Uh, I'm pretty sure, but this is uh, Puppet Master Axis Rising, the second entry in the uh, Axis trilogy. And um, this is actually directed by Charles Band, surprisingly, because I got to say, I really dug this one. And Charles Band only directed part, The Legacy, which was awful. And uh, he actually did this, so it's really surprising. But this is 88 minutes, came out in 2012, and uh, it picks up pretty much right after part one of uh, Puppet Master Axis of Evil. And they replace, replace every character. I personally dig the actors who played uh, the main guy and the girlfriend in this one. I just thought they were more likable and fit a full moon film better. Um, but essentially, we're still dealing with the Nazis and all that. They're still trying to invade America, do all this and that. And uh, there's like a doctor, and he's experimenting on uh, the Nazis and stuff, kind of like part three. And he's trying to find out, you know, the secrets to the puppets and the serum. And he's injecting the serum into people. And it's just melting them, and it ain't working. And uh, I'll get to the effects in a second, because it has to do with that phrase I just said. But, uh... Yeah, all of the main dude who's the cripple in the first one kind of has more balls in this one than he did in the first one. Uh, the girl's a little bit more annoying, but I still like her better. But they're uh, considered heroes uh, from the events that took place in the first one. So they're getting, like, kind of not babysitted, but chauffeured around by this army general who's a really fun character. He makes the film more enjoyable to watch. Some really funny comedic moments in it. And uh, you get all the puppets. Um returning ninja doesn't return from the first one but a really cool thing is the nazis in this one make their own crew of puppets and some of them are really badass like bombshell i think her name is uh yeah it's like the this female like ilsa but she's straight up an ilsa knockoff in the movie it's this uh, female character and she ends up getting turned into bombshell and uh it's kind of like austin powers where she has like machine guns for tits and stuff and she's shooting everybody and uh, my favorite new entry in the whole thing is Kamikaze. He's the only puppet I've heard ever talk. Um, but he's this really stereotypical Asian uh, suicide bomber puppet. And uh, he looks badass. And then uh, uh, Blitzkrieg is the new one. And he's like a tank and he rolls around just blowing shit up. Which I didn't care for that one. But one I did like was Wehrmacht, which is like a Nazi werewolf, which I thought was really cool. So it was cool having a whole new crew of puppets for them to verse against. Kind of has that part four and five vibe, but not as cheesy and corny. I mean, it's cheesy and corny, but not four or five cheesy. Um, and, and that's it. There's like a big showdown at the end with this. I thought this one was a lot more enjoyable than Axis of Evil. And I really enjoyed Axis of Evil, so I definitely think this is better. I, I, I love this movie. One of the better Puppet Master films I've seen, and I'm shocked Charles Band directed this. Uh, it has me stoked to check out the last entry in the uh, Axis trilogy, but I'm a little nervous because I heard it's not good, but uh, we'll see how it is. Uh, one thing I forgot to point out in the last review for Axis of Evil is that the puppet animatronics aren't as good at all as the previous entries. It's a new dude, but they do with it what they can. Um... There's also a new lady playing the dragon lady, I forgot to say, that's kind of weird. But she dies in the first minute, so it, it don't matter. And that's not a spoiler, like it happens in the first minute, literally. Um, you know, I just had a fun time with it. I, uh, I give it a high recommendation. I give this an 8 out of 10. Just a half a point better than Axis of Evil. Um, looks amazing. HD is really good on this. Uh, can't go wrong with this movie if you're going to watch some Puppet Master movies before checking out the first one. I'd probably just go with the Axis trilogy before watching the new one if uh, if I was going to do it all over again. I mean, I'm glad I'm watching them all, but yeah, uh, as, far as, as far as special features go, uh, the first time in 20 years, the Video Zone feature, uh, this was the first time I think they did the Video Zone for a full moon film in a long time. Uh, Killer Puppet Master Montage, Uncensored Grindhouse Preview, which is their sub-label, uh, Remastered Full Moon Trailers. So, uh, yeah, you know, you can find this on Amazon for 7 or 8 bucks. so definitely recommend picking that up. And uh, I'll see y'all tomorrow with Puppet Master Axis Termination, the last one. And uh, and then I should have Puppet Master Littlest Reich Friday or Saturday, and uh, so I'll have a review up for that on the weekend or Monday the latest. 
But uh, all right, guys. See y'all tomorrow. Peace.